Hi, I'm Johnny Marks, and welcome to the All Knowing Podcast. We all have people we admire, heroes, people we look up to, people we try to emulate. At the All Knowing, we look into people's personalities by using different systems such as numerology, astrology, and life charts. A deep dive in a persona, if you will. It is our hope that we can help break down what makes a person, who they are, their traits, their actions, and their possible beliefs. And in doing so, help you understand if you have similar virtues. If you like the show, don't forget to push like. Or if you have someone that you want us to do a life chart on, please leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and enjoy the show. Hey there, welcome to a, another episode of the All-Knowing Experience. Uh, today, we are going to do an episode of someone that was recently in the news. I am joined again by Sally Fabian. Hey, Sally. Hi, how are you? Good, good, thanks. Okay, so today, um, as I said before, uh, oh, before I start, please, if you like the video, please uh, like down below. And if you'd like to join us, uh, press the follow button as it helps us out. Thank you. So again, recently, uh, she was in the news because she's doing a uh, maybe a tell-all book and also mm -hmm. has a documentary. Um, she started her career as a Labatt's beer model and then in Playboy magazine, for 22 years and it is said that she has the most uh covers out of all the models in history uh she transitioned into acting on a tv show called home improvement but came to fame with a show called baywatch which took the world by storm making her a household name and a sex symbol. So today we're doing Pamela Denise Anderson. She was born July 1st, 1967 in British Columbia, Canada, making her a cancer. And she appeared in shows such as VIP, Stripperella, Stacked, which um, I was fortunate enough to work with her on that and uh, for about three to four months. And I found her to be uh, polite, professional, and oh, she loves sushi. <laughs> so um, she was also in the Borat movie, Barbed Wire, which uh, in that time um, she had a barbed wire tattoo and just made everyone want to go out and get barbed wire around their biceps so i mean that, that that was quite an interesting phenomenon back then uh then she uh was married to tommy lee they had two children and there was a huge controversy uh over a sex tape that was released uh on the internet uh, uh after divorcing tommy lee she married kid rock then divorced, then remarried <laughs> to Rick Solomon, uh, divorced him and married John Peters, divorced, then married um, a bodyguard uh, called Dan Hay Hurst and uh, got divorced again. So something with a divorce rate here. Uh, lifelong vegetarian and advocate for PETA. And as I said before, recently uh, has recently written a bestseller and done a documentary on Netflix with her son, which is gaining lots of attention. So today we are going to break down what makes Pam Anderson, Pam Anderson. Sally? Yes, we certainly are. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, first of all, she is what I call a renegade. 
because the numbers one, four, and seven are considered, in in my opinion, renegades. That means that they do not like having bosses necessarily, and they like to call their own shots and run their own show. And they usually end up doing that, and they do it well. Um, she has a one. She was born on the first. So there's the one. The one is the most independent, individualistic uh, of all the numbers, literally. And then the four is a workaholic kind of number. It's also a very honest, the person with a four is sometimes brutally honest, actually. Happens to be my destiny number, just I know that well. But anyway, and it's also a number of somebody who's very, very conscientious. They show up and do what they say they'll do. Um, timely, on time. Uh, fours are very timely and then her personality number is a five or her character number what she shows people in the outside world which is a very robust uh, excitable and exciting kind of personality so she's got the whole combination here for doing what she's doing right now and her motivation number interestingly is the number seven the seven is a number that doesn't necessarily like to show all of her cards at once. You know, she keeps things to herself, a lot of things to herself, but it's also the number of the genius. So she comes from that position of that. She's got the one, the four and the seven all combined in her chart. So she is the true renegade who maybe that's why, you know, her marriages didn't work too, because people with those numbers women especially or even men do well it's more women who have those numbers do not necessarily need to walk to that patriarchal drumbeat of we've got to have a man in our life all the time to make it why do you so, what 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 do you think uh causes i mean you think that she's highly uh romantic you know like that she falls fast and hard. I mean, wh what's going on? No, I think she's marriage? beautiful and men fall fast and hard for her. <laughs> what I think. Touche, I mean, huh? I, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Excuse me. I mean, but I think, you know, she's easy to get along with too in, in many, many ways. Um, she just knows what she likes and what she doesn't like with the one. With the four, right. she's very honest and forthright. So if somebody can't take that, they may as well find somebody else because she's going to be like that. And she's also very energetic and up, I would say, for the most part. Not She's not going to get too down in, in things. I mean, right now, she, she does have a number that is challenging. She very, very definitely does. She's in a five-year, which brings major change to her life. And it certainly sounds like that's what's going on. And she also has, there's there's in the first phase after her birthday, which went from July to November, uh, she had the 34, which was learning something, really doing something that she really enjoyed and learning something at the same time. So that's probably the film making and so on. I mean, she's already been in that, but she's doing her own uh, stories and so on. And then she's going to come into a phase from November until March that's going to be kind of, well, it's called the number of expect the unexpected. So there may be some little things that happen that she thinks, whoops, what's going on here? However, after that, she has the 24 or 26, four, God, 26, four, 26, eight. The eight is the number of money, power, and fame. So the 26 is helping her to acclimate to that, actually. It's kind of a uh, mellow eight, if you want. Um, so if it were like the 17, eight, it would be very different because it would be a male oriented eight, the two and six are female in orientation. And so is the eight. So it's going to be kind of a mellow, uh, thing that happens, but it would be nice. Um, and then she moves into a six year after her next birthday, when she turns 56 and the six year is very positive for her. Right. So, so uh, I, have yeah. lots of, I have lots of questions for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. So the uh, am, am I thinking correctly uh, in numerology, the, the one is someone that gets along with many people. It's very, they're very, um, uh, how do you say, adjustable because they go into all numbers. Is that, am I? No, I would no? say that the five is like that. The five? But the, 
the five, but the one is highly independent, individualistic. They call their own shots, run their own show, do as they want to do, and aren't too uh, amenable to other people telling them how to run their show. Okay. So, I mean, they're not, they, they can be very charming. I mean, there's many women out there who have the one. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to think of a couple more here. <laughs> too bad I didn't look that up. But, um, and they can be majorly charming. I mean, it's kind of like, it reminds me, whenever I see the one, I think of Clark Gable when he played the role in Gone with the Wind. And right. and he is a one. And so it was so much that character where he just is charming and good looking and, you know, people want to be in his presence, you know, type of thing or her presence, right. you know, basically. So, so um, but... When I first saw her, I was picking up the vibes of Marilyn Monroe. What say you on that? Any, any? Well, I mean, she's blonde any? and big, you know, has, has a rather <laughs> big well personality. Endowed... <laughs> big personalities? <laughs> yes, really. Well, her her body is, has a great personality, yes. Right, right. Um, so, so where, does, where, are we, where are we getting the sex symbol from? Well, actually, Marilyn Monroe also has the one. Okay, there you and, go. Yeah, so she's got a one. And um, she had Marilyn Monroe has the six, and the four is comparable to the six. The, all the um, even numbers are female in orientation. It's just that the four happens to be much more uh, linear in a way. It's like she will use her mind. She will think about things thoroughly. And plus, when she has the seven as her motivator, she's really when she gets interested enough she goes full bore she right. will go and get every scintilla of information she can find on what it is that she's trying to do or put together right. so right. she would be she, she does have on the intellectual plane here she's very very bright so you know she's got that going for her. the one thing she came in to make up in this life was to learn to compromise and cooperate and that could be part of who she is too the one is not very cooperative i don't know who told you about the one being so sweet and everything right, because right. there's more killers honestly i mean maybe i shouldn't even say that but more <laughs> because i run all the, the no, no, killers. That's, that, that that's fine we're break we're breaking it down you're teaching me all yeah. in the same stroke as well. No, there's more killers that are ones than anything else. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Because see, they don't like to lose. They're in it uh, to win, it, and they will not like losing, no matter okay. where they take themselves. And so, where she's got the brains, and she's got the looks, yeah. and she's got the one, she's going to win. Okay. She's going to go in it and win it. So, okay. So from sex symbol to um, humanitarian, PETA, all that, where's, where, where's that? Well, because she's, you know, she has female oriented numbers too. With, well, the four, for one thing, the four would all, like I said, I, I have the four. I also feel like I need to do something to help other people all the time because we do work hard enough that we enable ourselves to have our own to run our own shows and call our own shots kind of thing. And so it kind of puts you in, and because it's a, also because she's a cancer and I have to throw that in there too. I have moon in cancer. So the thing is cancer cares, you know, it's like, it's like a six, the, the six has to help people. Right. I think that cancer, the sign cancer I, also I think, has to help people. I think someone we know is a six. Are you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't. No, 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 that, that, that's perfectly mind, fine. But. Okay. So, um, so sex symbol, humanitarian, um, uh, did we, we touched on the... entrepreneurial or whatever you want to call it. You know, uh, right. she likes to run her own show and call her own shots and she's good at it, but she's also not somebody that's going to go get in people's faces because of that. You know, she'll be honest, but right. she, she's malleable i would say as right. well so but multiple marriages where, where, what did we say about that what, what? well i mean you know because oh let me see here let me look at, at some of the other things here gosh she has the one in every every mode of life in the 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 mode of youth and then the next one is the mode of power and the 
So is, is that is that of her is is that of her doing? Well, it does mean that she's going to be a very independent woman all throughout her life and right. knows how to do that and knows how to make it work. Yeah. Okay. And so you're, so so you're saying like um she gets to a point where this isn't working out and she kind of picks up and leaves. That's what's well, going on. I'm going to just say that on the, it's on the it's hard to explain because you know, I could show you my chart, but nobody's going to understand it. It's right, just right. that it's, there's squares here. And the outside of the square tells me how she deals with, I'm sorry, tells me what she's receiving from what she, what that whole square means, which the first one was uh, the, the um, period of youth. And she had the 20 from the outside. So it was soft it, things coming to her, but she had the one on the inside. So she, that was how she dealt with it. I'm going to do something. I'm going to be somebody, you know, when she was younger, even then in the second phase, which is her phase of power, which goes up until she's 54. So she's just passed out of that. She had the 18 that was around that. Now the 18 will bring on divorce and various other things because the 18 is a number of mm, discomfort it can be depression sometimes it can be even ill health and so on but it very definitely brings some challenges and on the inside of that she had the one again so regardless of what was coming at her she took it and said i don't care i'm going to make this work i'm going to make this happen even if it was a marriage she would get out of the marriage making it work that she's getting out of the marriage okay, okay. she was right. going to work it anyway and then on this last phase of her life that went from 45 to 54, she had the one also. So, I mean, this, this woman is, she's like, a, who would I give her as, as somebody, Tesla or something, or uh, Stephen Jobs, for instance. I mean, he had a one destiny. So are, Just, you saying, are, are you saying the best things are ahead of her? Um, she has the one in the center of her years of, um uh, they're called it's crossing through the i mean years of wisdom is what they're called and she has the 23 that surround us that that's a beautiful number that's just really beautiful it's like what's coming at her is very nice very fine but yes she could still remain very independent and like it i mean okay. she may sure. not be because she's like a real catch for guys you know and they like to catch women but um, it just depends on how she deals with that. Oh, I could go on to the inside and see if I can see here what it shows me. Let me um, let me ask you this. Um, what what are your thoughts on the aging cancer uh, sex symbol? I don't really think it matters to me. It's just like, it's who the person is. I mean, she can do, she's got enough money to make herself look beautiful for the rest of her life. You know, I mean, so, so why do you, but, why but, do you but, ask in, but in her mind, I mean, it, you know, like a lot of Hollywood stars. Oh no, she's not going to give up on anything. This woman, got she, it. she's got things at, at hand that can help her to be what any way she wants to look at like, and she's going to do it. I happen to have the four also. I don't quite have that much money available, but hey, if I did, I'd be doing that, I suppose. I don't know. Right. But she's also in a bit of a quandary. I don't know what to, how to put it really from 2021 and it goes through to 2024. So there is something that's kind of putting the brakes on a little bit, but then she flies. She flies and her life is very, very nice. So it's probably working on these films because I don't imagine that that's an easy task to do, you know, and especially if right. you're doing a Netflix thing or something like right. that. Yeah. Well, I, haven't, I, I haven't seen it. I, I do plan on seeing it because of- uh, Oh, so it's already done. Yes, yeah, it's on, it's okay. on uh, Netflix and it's, I mean, it's getting mixed reviews, more positive. But because I did work with her, I definitely want to see it because it's a supposedly a very candid, personal uh, documentary on her. I hope that I'm saying that right. I, again, I haven't seen it, but um, definitely takes a lot of courage to uh, do that. Uh, well, I think she'd be a little anxious at this time, uh, but she's not going to be concerned because I think it's going to be a real hit for her. 
And I think she's going to just go forward in her future, having a pretty fine life is what I can see. Yeah. She's had some fits and starts, but she's had very few what are called pockets of challenge in, in what I call them. Uh, she's had very, very few of them. She happens to be in one right now, and it's a four-year phase, but she's gone through two years of it already, and it's pretty much kind of the same thing. So if she hears this uh, video or sees this video, she might already know what that is because it's just kind of, oh, yeah, it's uh, kind of same old, same old for a little while until then the turn comes and when she's 58 in 2025, and she goes sailing, just really... Mm -hmm. Doing so, well. uh, Pam, if you're if you're watching this, uh, your better days are ahead, and right. um, uh, definitely another interesting aspect. Uh, thank you for breaking it down. Uh, a lot of uh, great uh, facts that you gave, Sally, uh, on Pam Anderson. So, um, thank you again, and. Mm -hmm. That will wrap up uh, the breakdown on Pam Anderson. And again, if you like the show, please push like. Uh, and then uh, if you'd like to join us, um, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. All right. So thank you and take care. We'll see you in the next time.